Both next-gen Rebels share the same chassis components, from their crosshatch hand grips right down to the fat 130-90-16 front and 150-80-16 rear Dunlop tires. In fact, Honda says the only difference between the Rebel 300 and 500 is the engine itself. As a natural successor to the venerable Rebel 250 that introduced countless folks to street biking over the past three decades, the new Rebel 300 makes use of the 286cc liquid-cooled, four-stroke single found in the CBR300R. Likewise, the Rebel 500 is powered by the same basic 471cc liquid-cooled, parallel twin used in the CBR500R. Honda has altered engine tune to endowed both of these DOHC, 4 valve per cylinder, fuel injected models with greater bottom end delivery than that of their respective sport bike sibling. Too cool for school while hanging out with the 2017 Honda Rebel 500. The riding position is relaxed and neutral with an easy reach to the lower eyes bar and foot peg placement that greets the feet in a natural mid mount location. The 27.2-inch seat height feels lower yet as the Rebel's midsection is very narrow where its 3-gallon peanut tank and tractor-style saddle intersect. The trellis steel tube frame appears beefy in appearance and well-braced. The sturdy-looking 41mm fork is set at 28 degrees.